I ordered this wonderful piece of tech from an eBay seller, and uh, that means I got it from eBay. What this is, is it is a floppy disk drive, a three and a half, and also reads card. It's got compact flash, SD, and other micro drive. In the listing, I did not see this cable was cut. I went back and looked, and it indeed was shown in the picture. I just didn't happen to see that. So the way this works is for the floppy, you connect to the 34 pin that goes to just your floppy uh, connector on the board, but the compact flash and SD cards and micro drive will be powered by the USB. Luckily it was just chopped right there. So I can see the colors. These are pretty much universal with yellow usually being the shield there. So what I did is I went and ordered these. I'm going to snip one of these male ends here and then hopefully this will be long enough. And if not, I got the extra one to jump it right there to the motherboard itself. These are all color coded with the outer one being what is yellow. And these are so small that uh, I didn't want to just tape them and leave them. So I got some uh, shrink wrap. And so we will see if I can bring this thing to life. I have not tested it yet, but we're going to try to repair it before we test it because where's the fun in testing it first? Welcome to my mess. We will move some things slightly out of the way. Because I had a public education and I didn't learn anything about safety, we're gonna open it with a knife and uh, hopefully it'll come up just fine. Fun fact about myself, I can't ever in my life remember cutting myself with a knife. I've done it with cardboard, uh, with other metal, had part of my bone scraped out one time. That was a great time to be 11. Um, hurt myself with all sorts of things, but never actually a knife itself that I can remember. Now that, that story is done, we see this here and that is red, white, green, black, and then what might be the yellow, I assume it would be. The thicker one is generally the shielding. I would like to put this back the way it looks here and be able to have it in that part there. And it may or may not work, but uh, here's hoping for the best. There we go. I could just do this. We've got the four that we're really gonna need right here. Weird, I don't know why I kept saying yellow, but this one is also black. Same exact thing, easy fix, at least this should be. We'll snip them with these line snips. If you're an electrician, you might have a set of these. If you're not an electrician, you also might still have a set of these. Spread thy pins, very exciting stuff. Hopefully I know what I'm talking about from here on out. I got the sheeting off here and wound these all together, which is probably uh, not a good thing to do. And so I'm gonna shove it through here. First I need to open this and get some of the shrink on here so I can pull it back over because there's no getting it on over this once this is on. Will it blend? No, no, that one does not blend. We're gonna go with this one that's slightly too big and just pray to whatever gods you believe in and pray that it works. So I messed up like I usually do with most things in my life, but I got it all fixed except, oh crap, I still messed up. I need to get uh, two more of the shrink wraps on here. So I will do that and we'll be back. Got all of them together, I stabbed myself in the thumb, and now I've got tinnitus. I will go ahead and get some solder on these, just so they don't bust free, and then we'll fold them up and get the heat shrink on. And then we'll hook it up and make sure it doesn't work. I soldered it off camera. If you can see all these uh, solder joints here that I um, made perfectly beautiful, there's absolutely no uh, wire sticking out whatsoever, so just don't zoom in. Just be like, hey, yeah, Jacob reviews everything, you should, uh, you should solder for NASA. Um, that's that's really what I'm hoping to accomplish with these videos. We're gonna go ahead and bend those up and I will likely burn myself. Then we can go ahead and light them and again, I will likely burn myself. Got all of them slid on up there, which was not an easy task because I melted one of them partially, but nothing popped off so far. So let's get these melted and get it all together after I also get this other one melted. is definitely the best way to do this. I like how I'm using the second hand and I'm still using my other hand. So uh, I'm using three hands, I guess. This right, I'm just gonna hold it with my hand. Well, it won't focus, so of course that's working out. But if you put your eyes slightly out of focus, then this will be even more out of focus and you can tell that I did an okay job and hopefully this will pop right in there. Definitely snap back in there, that definitely did happen. And there is no clearance uh, up above to stuff all this wiring mess up in there and then get the top case back on. Uh, there just is not. I did do the tape and it is the most gorgeous thing I have ever seen. And I snapped it back together. If you don't like it, please don't yell at me at the family reunion. We can speak about it away from everybody else. Let's go plug this in and 
see if it works. This is the PC it'll be going into. I don't need all of these. I got it to sit flush in there and got it all screwed down. And I got the power hooked up in there. As you can see, the cable was a little tricky because I put it in backwards right there. It doesn't have the notch, but it is after the twist on there. And when I powered it up, it just gave me an error. So I flipped that back around and then it worked just fine. And let's uh, take a look at it. Here we can see that it does show up, the floppy, the E, which is the compact flash, and the G, which is the SD card side. Everything works great except the SD part takes forever to load anything. It does work, it just takes a while. With the floppy, you pop it in, double click there on the A, and we shall see it light up. There we go, it's lighting up green. There is nothing on it. If we go to properties, you can see that it's fat and it's 1.38 or 144-ish. This is a Transcend Compact Flash. A lot of things that read flash, I've seen at least external ones, you gotta put them in upside down. This one is not that case. Stick it in there if I can find the hole. I popped an SD card in and it is taking, like I said, forever. I took it out and put it back in and caught it in action and it is blinking red, it's reading. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this bizarre adventure of getting this thing to work. Had fun making this, and I really wanted a floppy in here with some extra stuff, and that's what we have. If you ever find one of these that's working, I recommend picking it up. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.